This is your girl, Ebony Smith, founder of Gender Amplified, and this is Studio Cribs Quarantine Edition. Now, ordinarily, you could find me in New York City in the heart of Times Square at Atlantic Records, where I am the in-house engineer in their New York facility and studio operation. But today is actually quite special because I'm coming from Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm here actually at the legendary studio for you recording Made in Memphis Entertainment, which is the home studio of the legendary David Porter, who's like my music industry godfather. He's just probably one of the smartest, most amazing, most energetic living legends that you'll ever get an opportunity to be around and to, and to see. So I'm actually grateful that he lets me in here when I come home. So we're gonna take a look around these incredible facilities. And so, be you ready? Okay, so this is always typically in any studio. This is my favorite section which is the console. And in this A room here at Made in Memphis Entertainment, they have an API AXS legacy console, which basically provides all the bells and whistles that you'd ever need to be able to do large scale multi-tracking recording. And as a tracking engineer, I love how API has this really slick design as far as how all of the channel strips are laid out. Actually in New York City, I work on a 1608. So this is kind of like the big brother to that, the 1608 being a more smaller format console, but the sound is still the same and the sound is absolutely incredible. So in this main room, this is 100% one of the best features in this room, in addition to some of the incredible outboard gear that they have. But yeah, API, you know I love you. I, I have a lot of good friends at API, so it's always great to come home and see that you guys are taking care of my people down here. I appreciate that very much. For me, everything starts here. When I say here, I don't mean in front of the piano. I mean centered with respect to allowing music to move in a space in an acoustic environment. A musician has a very intimate relationship with his or her instrument, and it's that relationship that produces acoustical vibrations that can be heard and that can move in space and time. And so that's what's happening typically when a musician is sitting at his or her instrument and communicating with that instrument in a way that produces sound, that product, in my opinion, is the muse. And so for me, I love to come into a studio and the first thing I do is find the piano because that's how I cleanse the space. That's how I also purify my mind and prepare myself to be of service in the space. So the fact that this place has this gorgeous Baldwin and I can come in here and find that space instantly find that energy and that centering means the world to me. Yo, these are my children. These are my babies. I love, 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 love all these units here. These are some of my favorite compressors and EQs that I use, I would say on 95% of the recordings I make, especially if I'm tracking vocals or tracking bands. I absolutely love the Tube Tech CL1B on vocals is always in my vocal chain. Usually I will put a 1073 in line. That's definitely, I have to have that in line. And honestly, I'm a Neve girl. If I could have everything running through a 1073, that would just make my day all the time. I never have enough 1073s, especially when I'm working on large tracking pro projects. Um, obviously pull tech EQs, come on. Can't, can't go wrong there. And 1176 can never go wrong there. This producer desk is stocked with all the right stuff, if you ask me. All right, all right. This is Studio B at Made in Memphis Entertainment. As you can see, you can get really busy in here and there's a pretty cool live room in there too. Lots of 500 series modules here. Lots of, lots of API lunch boxes here. You just can't go wrong with APIs and you really can't go wrong with these 560s. These are my babies. I love these so much, these graphic EQs. They really allow you to get really nice, detailed, fine tuning of your frequency bands. 
you know, I think what's great, a lot of folks say, why do you need all this stuff, right, in 2020? Especially when you have the software emulators. In my opinion, I like to say all the time, electronics have a, a story to tell and electrons have a story to tell. They don't travel the same way. These four units sound different. All of them sound different because electrons have a very unique story to tell. Also how electricity works in the space will affect your units. Generally speaking, they're all gonna function the same, but you're gonna get a different type of character using physical hardware in a physical environment. I think it also expands the quality of your digital productions. You know, if you have access to a space like this, it could give you a little bit more umph that other producers and engineers might not have. Oh, and this guy, oh my goodness. The 33609, oh, this is one of the best stereo bus compressors, in my opinion, on the market. What's really great about this place is there's a basketball goal outside. <laughs> <sighs> We're wrapping up our tour here. This is Studio C. This is where I usually find myself. I love this little room. It is so comfortable. I come in here, I get my machine right here, and I go to town. I just start making music. There's also a drum set in this room if I need to channel my aggression. All right, that's that's where what's where we are. Look, I hope it has been informative. I hope it has been fun. This is your girl Ebony Smith, founder of Gender Amplified. Thank you. Till next time.